Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not in great shape right now. Here are my reasons. One, can you hear that? It's the lawnmower guy, who is also my boyfriend, who also knows that I'm trying to record a YouTube video. <laughs> Number two, I just dropped my big booty ring light on my face and I'm probably gonna have a black eye tomorrow and three. My eyebrows, I spoke about it in my last video, I just got them touched up. If you missed that, I went over like the whole one year touch up process. Anyway, they're peeling like crazy. I, yep, I look insane. Mm-hmm. Without further ado, let's get into an H&M haul. I recently did one of these like last month and I had so much fun so I went back to H&M and I found more stuff. So, let's try them on. I picked up this really cute white bikini that I'm going to need you guys' opinion on because I asked my girlfriends in our group chat and I got mixed reviews. So, maybe you guys can help me out. Okay guys, help me. Do we like this swimsuit or do we not like this swimsuit? I feel like I like it. It's like a ribbed, scrooching material and then it has like these cute very simple stretchy elastics that are adjustable and the adjustable strap is gold and it's so cute i feel like it's very minimalist like simplistic look it's nice and high-waisted i did stick true to size these are a six and this is a medium so the back of it looks like this like it's cheeky but it's not like a full-on thong so i feel like i really like the bottoms because all my bottoms are like thong bottoms so I feel like this is a little bit more modest. And then this is the back. So there's no clip or anything. There's nothing that you have to worry about coming undone. It is what it is, you know? I need you guys to vote down below. Do we like it? Do we not like it? And it's very inexpensive. It was only $15 a piece. So it was like 30 bucks for the full swimsuit. And like the material feels good. So I feel, I feel like I like it. Now I just sound like I'm trying to convince myself. But anyway, yes or no? How do we feel? How do we feel? Anyhow, I think that the first item that I want to go over is this very adorable, just like black summery dress. So it has open slits here. It's going to be easier to show you once it's on, but I got it in a size medium. Okay, so it's on. I love this like oversized casual look. I think that it looks so cute. And I also love the way that like cleavage looks in just like a baggy, boxy summer dress. As you can see, the sides dip down pretty low and then you can tie it here. I will say I think a medium was too big. I feel like I could have fit in a small. So if you wanted to size down, that's definitely an option for you, but it is supposed to fit oversized. It does have like a little bit of a cutout for boobs here, but it's supposed to be baggy, so keep that in mind when you try it on. These straps are not adjustable, and the back has a little bit of a V, and the length is super adorable. It's just a very decently modest length for a summer hangout dress. I would highly recommend this, especially if you live somewhere in Florida, or in a hot city or hot state because it's so airy that I feel like all my body parts are just breathing and free and happy. And it was only 18 bucks, so it's really not that bad. It's a super easy, casual piece that you can wear, either throw it on for dinner when you don't know what to wear, or you can wear it to run errands, you go to brunch, anything really. Throw it over your bathing suit, I love it. Next item is also a dress. I don't know how this one's gonna fit. I'm really curious because this is very out of my comfort zone. I got it in a size small because I remember picking it up and looking at it and thinking to myself that it looks a little big for a small. This is what it looks like. It has some ruffles on the sleeves. And if you guys know me, colors and patterns is not me at all. You know, I personally am trying to become a little bit more flavorful. I guess. How stinking cute! I feel like this style is so like prairie girl, happy-go-lucky, modest brunch vibes, and I love it. Seriously obsessed. And I love things that are kind of a midi length, like it's not full length and it's not short. It's just like a mid length. But I think it's so cute and it fits so well. So definitely size down because this is a size small and I am a true medium. It has some bunchy material here and then it goes into some frillies. And then this is what the front part looks like. And then this is the back with the cutest little bow detail. I think it's just so cute, especially with something like this, like just little gold details, like a little gold necklace, 
gold earrings and you're good to go okay next is going to be another out of my comfort zone dress this week i went all in on the dresses i'm trying to become a floral flavor for what a floral flavorful gal so this one is just a cute little sundress it is $17.99 and i got it in a size medium okay okay all right all right i think your girl might be a sundress type of gal this summer the length again is really good i actually thought this was going to be way too short for me again i am 5'9 so this is like a great length i feel like it's still very modest it's not too short to where i feel like my booty cheeks are gonna fall out i think it's so cute the material is going to be like this thin, very lightweight, breathable material. And then it has some scrunching here and a little bit of a puff sleeve. I love a good puff sleeve. And then it has a cutout here, which you can tighten. You can loosen or tighten depending on how you like it to fit. And yeah, I just think that it's a very well designed dress. I really like it. I think it shows off your girls. It's like it just immediately makes me want to smile. Like when I put it on, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay i sound deranged the next thing i got was actually on clearance so i'm gonna try to link it for you guys or see if i can find something similar to your girl loves a good deal so while i was shopping for all these other things i had to check out the clearance rack back to my old self black and puffy sleeves it was on sale for 10 bucks it is a size small so i'm a little nervous that it won't fit only because the slip part of it looks really tiny okay so for this one as i suspected i knew it's gonna be a little bit too small so the slip part of it is like very short like very very short if i were to bend over you would see everything that i don't want you to see probably gonna have to either return this or i'm thinking about cutting out the slip because it's just like attached by a string and i feel like i could wear my own like black slip under this because it has like two of my favorite things one it's like see-through super good quality lace and then two it has puffy sleeves so like i want it to work but i'm not sure if it's gonna work this would just look better on a short person but i love it i feel like it's good quality because this part isn't itchy i thought it was gonna be so itchy and irritating but it's actually very comfortable if you're short and for some reason you're watching my channel this is for you let me live vicariously through you so lastly i got these two to kind of go together i have so much denim in my closet i actually think i'm gonna have a denim sale this coming week so if you don't already follow me on instagram please go do so here's my information right here i am going to do a denim sale and by that i mean on my story i'm going to post so much of my denim and sell it to you for a decent price and then ship it to your house because i don't need as much denim as i have in my closet i would rather somebody else get better use out of it if i'm not gonna wear it like all the time I would rather you wear it all the time. Okay, before I put on the shorts, I do want to show you the fit of the onesie. So it is not extremely high rise. And then the back of it is like a thong back, so you don't have to worry about any panty lines. And then these jean shorts I picked up in a size 10 because I always like to size up in my jeans. Love, love, love this. I think that this is like perfect for summertime. I like the high neckline on here and I will say these straps are not stretchy so I thought it was gonna not fit right but it actually fits perfectly the back of it is so cute I think it's just a super great top to have if you want a statement piece if you're someone like me and you have a lot of neutrals this is perfect because it's still a very feminine simplistic cut but in a flamboyant and fun color the material of it is going to be this ribbed material and then this is the true color when i'm standing like this close to the ring light is when it shows its true color and then i have it with these shorts that just have a raw cut at the bottom and i like them a lot my booty cheeks are not hanging out and it like kind of like like cups in under here and i love when that happens because i feel like it just makes your butt look a little better and i do recommend sizing up because i am a true size 8 these are size 10 so there's like a little bit of room but that's if i'm pulling on them like they sit fine they feel really comfortable to wear and they do not dig in at all on my thighs wow i really wish you would stop mowing the lawn right now <laughs> anyway that brings us to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it there are several really cute pieces i'm telling you i'm going to be a sundress type of gal this summer and i'm very excited for it because i normally would wear like t-shirts and shorts all the time <laughs> But I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I really just want to be cute all the time. Is there anything wrong with that? No, I don't think that there is. I'm going to proceed with that mindset and I'm going to be stinking cute 
everywhere I go all the time cute vibes only you know and i don't think i ever mentioned this but all of my discount codes are always in the description box of every single youtube video i have a quite a few random codes so just check it out and save money if you can oh there is something i want to talk about there's two products that i just can't not mention to you neither of these products are sponsored this video is not sponsored whatsoever these, I bought them with my own money, but I do have a coupon code for you guys if you want to try CBD. I reached out to them and I asked them if they do have discount codes because I know a lot of people are interested in CBD these days. I do not the married ye, okay? I don't do that. I don't do any type of D-R-U-G-S. I have to be careful how I say things so my video doesn't get blocked. <laughs> I bought these and I stinking love them. I have not slept better in my entire life. I used to be a hardcore insomniac. I would stay up until five, six in the morning. And now I just take about 30 milligrams of these, which is two of the strips. And I go right to bed. It makes me sleepy. I literally will be on my phone falling asleep and that never happens to me. This is what they look like. It tastes just like rainbow strips. So yummy. I actually look forward to eating these every night <laughs> right before bed. Um, and then I know that people do use CBD for anxiety. Luckily, my anxiety hasn't been too bad recently, but I am looking forward to trying these on the next flight that I take because I get really bad airplane anxiety so I know if you take a smaller dosage it will relax you and not necessarily make you sleepy but yes again this is not sponsored by just CBD I just just love them and I sleep great and not only do I fall asleep I stay asleep that's my biggest thing normally I could wake up in the middle of the night go to the bathroom drink some water scroll on my phone I'm talking like at four in the morning I'd be scrolling on my phone for no reason just because I woke up I don't wake up when I take these anyway but the last thing I want to mention, I haven't even mentioned this on my Instagram. Maybe I'll mention it this week because I've been trying it out. I've heard so many people talk about Grande Lash MD. So I wanted to try it out for myself. I wanted to do it low key. Like I didn't want anyone to know that I was trying it out. Like a year ago, I had lash extensions and I had them for two years. So when I removed them, my eyelashes, I'm not kidding you, were so short. I will include a before and after picture of me using this serum. I've been using it for like two months now consistently, like every single night. As you can see right now, like my eyelashes aren't the longest, but they're so much longer than what they used to be. And I feel like I didn't even try with my mascara. Like I used to have to really try to make it look a little longer. But ever since I've been using this, I've been loving it. If you struggle with eyelashes, try this. But it does take a while. Like, it takes, like, two solid months before you start seeing any improvement. Like, just now, this past week, is when I've been seeing my eyelashes, like, noticing that they're really a lot longer than they used to be. So be patient. You have to be consistent. You have to use it every single night. It just looks like this little tube. And then it has a very fine point and you just apply it as if it was eyeliner. You just put it like right above your eyelash line. Just one stripe, one line here, one line here, right before I go to bed, good to go. So I guess that's it. Yep, that's all of it. That's, that's my entire spiel. I need to go to sleep because I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go get some ice cream and have some dinner and then take some CBD and go to bed. Yep, that's my plans wild wild gal over here anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that you are able to find things that you can also love as much as i we'll chat next week on monday at 2 p.m eastern standard time bye